What is up everyone, Austin here, and today I'm going to give you guys a quick, I mean, I'm going to call it a, a public service announcement on Navy Field. If you're new to Navy Field, this is a video you're probably going to want to check out, or not, doesn't matter to me. Um, this is not going to go everything about the game, I'm not going to go in depth about everything in the game, I just want to point out a few things that you're going to want to know from the beginning that I have personally found out the hard way. Um, first things first, you're... When you first get into the game, your screen's going to look something like this. And you're going to have a few sailors here. Um, yours will be yellow. They'll have yellow names. Now, yellow names means they're not tradable. And that also means that they're sailors that are given you off the start of the game. Okay? Um, I think their base, they're, they have a, poten a potential base. Okay? And let's even go to this one. These ones are just two random ones. There's nothing in particular that that they're good for. I just did them quick, quick big deal. But as you can see on this chart, there is a growth and an ability. Higher the growth now, the more ability there will be later on. Okay, so you're going to have a few yellow sellers. They're going to look like this ish. But I think they're going to be base 11. Actually, they might have just made them base 12, but they're still not tradable. It's good to know they are not tradable. You cannot trade them. Okay, so. I think you're gonna have I think you have two gunners, one restore, repair, something like you just have a few random random guys. That brings me into this next point, okay? The, the amount of sailors it gives you right off the beginning are not the all the sailors you're going to need for the rest of the game. I don't know exactly what the number of sailors it gives you offhand in the beginning, but you're gonna need a total for uh, the way down the line, when you get to like, your BB-6 or CV-6 or any, like, EBBs or premium battleships and stuff like that, you're going to need more than the original yellow sailors that it gives you. Do not level up those four sailors or five sailors all the way to, like, BB-3 and then realize you need a whole lot more like I did. Okay? That's when the first mistake I made in this game. I got in, I was like, yeah, I'm going to play, play, play. Doesn't matter, you'd be oh, leveled up that pretty quickly. And then I got wrecked. I got wrecked real good when I realized I need id, uh, to be exact, 14 sailors in total for a BB6 and 12 total for a CV6, I believe. I'm not sure on CV exactly because I don't have a CV6, but I have a few BB6s. I'm going to show you what I mean. You see how this ship here has three spots. One for your bridge officer. Actually, we're going to make a new sailor quick for that. Sure, it looks good. Um, this is a thing you have to do, so it's kind of get annoying. All right, you're going to have a total of four slots on this first one. Bridge officer, gunner, and gunner. Okay? Or whatever you choose. Okay, so there's that. You can see so many X amount of sailors can fit on the ship. X amount of sailors will are like in the docks, but technically they're on your ship. They help your ship's overall ability. So we have four here. Now let's go to say, see even here a Fletcher class, a DD in the U.S. line. This is actually yes, yeah, is a this is a Fletcher class. Okay, good. <laughs> I thought I was wrong. You have one, two, three, four on the boat plus your bridge officer plus two on the dock. But let's go to the BB six. This is my one of my first BB-6 crews, so it is not any yellow sailors, but the sailors aren't the best in the world. But you can see we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 here, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 sailors total. Basically, it depends on your nation, but you're going to need at minimum per nation is your bridge officer, and your two main gunners. Those are things you always are going to want to have, okay? And the scout. The rest depends on the nation, on your engineers, how many engineers you want, repairs, stuff like that. And it also comes down to your play style. Quick overview of the sailors. Engineers help with the thing called, ability called overheat. So go on my ship, overheat for 291 seconds. It's Like I said, this is not the best crew. <laughs> um, that's how long you can go 
and when you're in battle, you'll notice you hit F all the way, and it goes a little red. That is your overheat. That is your maximum speed you can do. And this determines the amount of engineers and their ability determines how long that factor is. And the repairs, on the other hand, affect your ship's repair rate. And um, how fast, once you stop burning, as slang called, but you probably know that, don't know that, as you'll stop, and when the smoke, the fire comes, it stops coming off your ship, is when you stop burning and you cross over to repairing. Your amount of repair men on your ship determines how fast this repair rate. So mine's 222 repair units, I guess, per second. Okay? So that's going to be no. You're going to want to know right off the bat going into the rest of the video and you playing Navy Field is you're going to need at least 14 sailors at the end of the game. At the end, not the end of the game, but the, at the end of your ship tree. Okay? At least 14 sailors. Keep in mind... When you're a new player, you're going to have these right here. Now, just because this is you're going to need all these sailors doesn't mean these yellow sailors you got are complete junk. I would not put any of them in your a crew you plan on taking all the way just because you're not they're not tradable. And later down the line, you might be like, hey, I have this, but I want to trade this. And, you, you know, if you're stuck in the dark with your pants down, having a few sailors that are yellow that cannot be traded, you kind of, no one's going to want to make a deal with you. Okay. But they're not totally useless. Say, for example, these two are yellow sailors. What you're going to want to do is, I, well, I recommend anyway, make them class some AA gunners. Um, I'll throw up a few links in the description to Train World and the Navy Field website, and you'll see the tree of how you'd class those sailors depending on your nation to be AA gunners. I recommend IJN or German AA gunners as you go to those, because no matter what you do on your count, you're always going to need some AA gunners. It doesn't matter, good, bad. You're going to need AA Gunners because that's how at low level you could do a lot of your leveling and get some extra points and credits and stuff like that. So, going on further, I recommend right off the bat, make sure you set up your your little frigate here and make you do that. Then you're going to have X amount of points down here. I have... You're going to have not as much as this, not even close. I don't know anything. It's like... 100,000 credits and 100,000 points to start off the game. First things first is make sure your boat is good to go, okay? Then I'd recommend you start the rolling process. Um, first, keep your these gunners on here. Here, like I said, you're always going to need some AA gunners. So I'd start leveling those up into your Blitzkriegs, your Great Battles, right off the get-go, okay? Then you're going to want to start keeping in the back of your mind of what kind of crew you're going to want to do. So... Uh, so basically you come over to this little new sailor here and you roll dice and hearing the in this kit you can only get a maximum of plus 12 potential and in the game honestly in this state it's really not worth them but if you're just starting off and you don't want to spend any money this is your best bet to go because there is things called heroes elites super elites nfx stuff like that we might go over that in a different video but those are just her sailors that come preloaded <laughs> preloaded with a higher potential rate in a certain category or a certain a higher growth rate in a certain category which equates into more ability which is them doing them their job better so i'm not going to roll the dice right now, you know keep rolling it too much but basically once you have your ship set up and a few sailors right off the bat you're going to want to roll for plus 12 and you keep doing this until you either run out of points or you get a couple sailors, you're happy. All right, don't waste too much time on this. You know, it's about having fun in the game. You will still be able to have a fun for a while here with your sailors and your bridge officer. It's not going to be that important to you right off the bat. But just make sure you have this set up first, your boat, in case you run yourself out of points or something like that. You have you still have a boat you can always play with. And that's going to be it for this one, guys. I just wanted to point out the fact that you no, know, I just want. <laughs> I just wanted to have everyone start off on the same foot kind of deal. I don't want anyone else to join this game, whether it be, you know, not a lot of new players are coming into this game right now, but in the future, if they do or not, you're going to need to know you need 14 sailors in total. And I don't care if you just, you know, you get into a fleet and you trade and barter with your fleet members to get some sailors, you know, here and there, but just know that you're going to need 14 sailors at the very end of the line, Okay. So, you know, you get, I think I have an Iowa class here. Um, like, see, this one, you could have 
this is BB4 for United States, two gunners, two X spots where you, you can put, you know, anti-aircraft here or anti-submarine or nothing and have repairs like I do. And then you have these amount of slots here for support sailors, your scout, your engineers, your repairs. And overall, it might seem like, oh, I don't need that. I just need gunners and a BO. In the long run, as you evolve more in the game and you play more, you're going to know you, you want your, sailor, your ship to perform better. You want to be able to go faster, longer, repair faster, take a harder of a hit, and those sailors are all going to give you the necessary, the necessary, the, what's a good word here? It's going to give you the ability, I don't know why I'm saying necessary, ability to do such things. Um, that's pretty much it. Like Again, guys, um, I just want to let you guys know. I'm an, <laughs> I just get sorry. Yeah, but like I said, that's it. So good luck to any new players. Um, don't forget to have fun. And if you have any questions, you can message me on this, YouTube. You can message me in game if I'm, or message me on the Nate Field website. Don't forget to look in the link to description, the, the links in the description to all the things you can read up about the forum posts I'm gonna post and the cl sailor classing, ship trees, all that kind of stuff. Train world is a big thing. Base ca ca jack, base calculator, calculator is a big thing too. If you're gonna buy a sailor, but it's not really used that much now because everything now is pretty much elite or super elite. You don't see a much more trade of plus twelves for this account. I've been trying to get plus twelves for like a month now and no one's selling them because they're, they're pretty much obsolete but i'm not at a point where i want to spend money on this game anymore but you can still play and have fun in this game without playing money all right guys see you in the next one peace thanks so much for watching guys it really does mean a lot don't forget to like and subscribe to get more videos like this what do you guys think of today's video do you think this would have helped you when you first started yes no maybe leave a comment below also what do you think would help new players going coming to play this game what do you think would be a good video idea? What would what would you want to have a new player know that you didn't know, that you know now, that you wish you knew? <laughs> I know that was a lot, but it's going to be okay. Comment below, and I'll see what I can do on making that happen. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.